guys work off. <laughs> right, I need to just start by saying I know my voice is very croaky. I am like losing my voice. Um, I went to Lincoln with my best friend. We went to some Christmas markets. We drove up on Friday, which is like a four hour drive. Um, it's currently Sunday and we got back yesterday. So I've obviously been driving loads. I had a drink and if you know me, I don't drink. Like I can literally have a sip of alcohol or even I can smell alcohol and I feel ill for like weeks, like literally ages. I'm losing my voice as you can hear. So is my friend. She lost her voice as well, which is really, really weird. I don't know why. Um, but yeah, alcohol just does not agree with me. So I apologise already about my voice. I know it's probably really annoying if you don't want to watch the video. That's completely fair enough. But I don't know. I'm still going to film it because I've had these refined products for a while now. And well, a while, like a week. And I've really, really wanted to film a video, like trying them. So yeah, as you've probably seen by the title, I'm going to be doing a testing refi beauty products now i've got not got every single one but i've got like the majority of them obviously not in all the shades but like i just picked out the majority of them i haven't got like a foundation and stuff like that so obviously certain things i'll be using my normal makeup routine with but i thought i could it could be like a little get ready with me as well at the same time and testing refined beauty products because i know that like well i don't know i feel like a lot of people probably do have them and i'm probably quite late to the party but i don't know i wanted them for ages and i just never Never thought about getting them until they had a Black Friday sale and then I took advantage of that and just thought I'd buy them. So yeah, I thought I'd do a little testing video. Um, I'm not going anywhere special, I'm literally just going to go to the supermarket after this and then come back and rest. But I thought I'd get this filmed so I can get it up because I am trying to get as many videos up as I can in December. But yeah, let's get straight into the video. I'm sorry that was such a long intro but I feel like I had to address my voice. Okay, I'm going to start with carving out my eyebrows which is something I only recently started to do. I've always seen loads and loads of people do this. And I've just never been like, does it really make a difference? But do you know what it actually does? Like, I understand why people do it now. Because I feel like it just makes the whole makeup just look so much neater. So yeah, and then I use this brush by Eco Tools, I think it is. It's actually like an eyeshadow brush. And I just blend that in. It's really hard to do this in a phone. I'm looking at the phone, I might have to use this little mirror from my bronzer. Okay, so that's carved them out. Um, my eyebrows are not looking their best selves at the moment. I need to laminate them because I haven't laminated them for like three, four weeks and also need to pluck them. But yeah, I feel like it just makes a whole difference already. And then I go in with some primer. I'm currently using the Primark Vitamin Enriched Moisturising Primer. It's the dupe of the Boy Brown one. And I've used quite a lot of this already. Like I've nearly used it up. But I did buy two pots of it. Because I think like loads of people can relate. But like like no one could get it for so long. Like they just never had it in stock. Um, So when I saw it in stock like a month or so ago. I just had to pick up two. Because I was like you just don't know when it's going to come back in. So yeah I use that. And it's a really good base. I then go in with one of the e.l.f. Um, Poreless Putty Primers. Just over like my nose. Where I know like. My pores are going to be big. Um, This is the Cookies and Dreams one. It actually smells so good. So yeah, I just do it kind of over those kind of areas. I feel like primer is like the one thing. Well, not the one thing, but it's, to be fair, it's one of the many things I can't do my makeup without because it just makes such a difference. Foundation, I'm going to use the Audi's dupe of the Giorgio Armani. I can never say that properly. I feel like in this video, other than refi, it's just all dupes of stuff. But that's just me. I love a dupe. Like, if I can find a product that's exactly the same but saves me, like, so much money, obviously I'm going to love it. I don't know, like, who wouldn't? Like, when a product is the exact same, why would you want to spend more money? Like, it's just throwing money away. And I could not do that. I'm also using one of the massive sponges from TikTok. It came in this little box. How cute. Um, yeah, like putting makeup on with this is so easy because I feel like you can do it so quickly. I need to use my mirror again. This is so hard to do it for a phone. I really need to wash this as well, like so badly. My friend was making fun of me for how dirty it was when we were in Lincoln. I was like, yeah, that's actually kind of embarrassing to be fair. So I think I'm going to wash it today. <laughs> Okay, I just want quite a light layer of makeup on, layer of foundation on today. So I'm just going to 
leave it at that and then put some concealer to cover my imperfections. Either way, I said that my imperfections. <laughs> oh my god, this is actually hilarious. I can't be even film a video like this. But yeah, let's put concealer on. So for concealer, <coughs> I need more water. Oh my god, this is gonna be a long video. I'm gonna be shocked if anyone actually watches this the whole way through. But I'm not letting it stop me post videos because I just don't. I just want to be a content queen this December. So sorry for concealer. I use the Elf Flawless Concealer Correct to Perfection, um, which I'm actually running out of. Which I'm so annoyed because I was meant to get new concealer in um, a Lincoln this weekend. So I might see if they've got any at the supermarket because this is getting dangerously low, and I would not leave the house without concealer on. So. Yeah, and believe it or not, even though I have so much makeup, concealer is the one thing I never have more than one of at the time. Well, little story time. I do currently have more than one. I have this one by Primark. I cannot for the life of me figure out how you get the product in it. I've asked so many people now and no one knows. So that's annoying, but I can't throw it away just in case I ever figure it out, you know. So yeah, I have to use a lot of concealer because I have a lot of imperfections. So I then try and leave it on for a little bit, at least especially like around my eyes and um, like where I've got bigger imperfections. Just because people say like, if you leave it on for longer, it's better coverage. I don't really know. I guess it soaks in better, does it? But I just start on my chin always. I don't know why. I just always tend to. I guess because like, that's where I start putting the concealer on. So yeah, just blend that out again. I'm going to have to use this mirror. <laughs> at least you're getting a little look at the Refi product. <laughs> okay. I've done my base now. I'm going to go on to the refined products. But my face feels so dry. Like, I don't know if that's to do with alcohol. Anyone else relate? But, like, you know, when you've had just, like, a long weekend. Like, I've neglected my skincare this weekend because I was drunk. So, that's probably why. But I'm going to go in with the cream bronzer using their brush. There you go. So, this side you use for the bronzer and this side you use for the blush. Um, It's a really, really good brush, actually. And then this is the bronzer. I got the shade Sand, which I'll show you what it's like. Obviously, I have used it now a couple of times, which is why it looks like this. Um, honestly, this is probably, out of all the products I've used so far, I would say this is probably my favourite. I needed this in my life. Like, I've always wanted to try a cream bronzer, and I just never have got round to buying one. So far, this is definitely worth the money. Let me show you it on. So all I can say is trust the process, because it might look crazy at first. But once it's blended in, it will look good, trust me. So you always have to do this with your face. I'm going to look stupid, but I will. Someone actually told me as well that you should do contour like lower down because it gives you more of like a lift. I'm just doing that really lightly because I don't want to have like a massive line. And then I always bring it up here. Honestly, like, I don't know why I do this kind of stuff. I just see other people do it and I'm just like, yeah, like, that's how it is. That's how it. That's how you do it. But I guess it's just like, it gives you a shade, doesn't it? Like, you can already see, look. Obviously, I haven't blended it properly yet, but you can see it's starting to give me a bit of a shape. And I always do just under here quite lightly, and then I drag it down, because I feel like it helps my double chin. <laughs> I don't know if that's actually what you're meant to do, but yeah, I just feel like it helps. Okay, that's the bronzer. I feel like, I don't know if you can tell, but it's given me a lot more of a colour and I feel like it has given me a bit of more shape, if that makes sense. So yeah, I really, really love this bronzer. It is so, so good. So now I'm going to use the cream blusher, which, where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Here it is. I picked this one up in the shade Malaya. I feel like this is probably one of the popular ones. I feel like loads of people talk about this shade. So the thing I'd say about this is you really don't need much product. Ooh, let me show you. I feel like I always end up going too far with cream blushes. But this one blends out really, really nice. I really, really want to try all the other shades of this. They've got a new shade called Cherry. And I've seen people wear that and it looks stunning. So I also like to sort of go over the nose area. I feel like it gives like a bit of a sun-kissed look. Which, I don't know, just... Oh, I went a bit far with that. See, it's so easy to go too far with it. Like definitely start off, off with not much and then build it up if you want to because you can end up looking a bit like a clown. 
which I have gone out the house before. Like I've done, when I've done my makeup in my, just my phone before, I've gone out the house and I've looked in the little mirror in my car and I've been like, oh my God, I actually look like a clown. But at the same time, I just love blush. Like I can't get enough of blush. I don't know why I always put it up here as well. I just feel like it just gives a bit more colour, you know? So yeah, I've done that in quite like a subtle way. You can obviously build up a lot more. Let me see if I can adjust the lighting so you can see in a even different light. I'll definitely show you in the natural light as well um, when I go outside. Mm, that's probably not better actually, is it? But yeah, obviously I'll show you in the natural light, but you can see I've got a lot more colour on my cheeks now. Okay, the next thing I do is then use a bit of translucent powder. This is the e.l.f. I think it's called Halo. Oh no, this is the e.l.f. HD powder. I just do it like everywhere. Really, I always start here just to give a bit more of a defined look against the contour. Okay, and I don't know if that's what you're meant to do, but that's what I do. And then I kind of just do a bit everywhere. I've got a bit of, um, like you can see it's a bit, not wet, but like glowy. Don't get me wrong, I love to look glowy, but you also don't want to look, I don't know, like, setty. You want to set it in, setty? Sweaty. You want to set it in place, especially over your T-zone. So just do that. Oh, I need to blend that bit out a bit more. Let's have a look. Yeah. And then I also added a bit of creamy eyeshadow to my, oh my god, I just went in with that. What am I doing? Oh, see, look, I only did a tiny bit and you can see how much products come off that. I literally just dabbed that by accident. That is insane. So yeah, that's my base done. I'm just going to put some mascara on, which obviously I don't have a fire. I don't think they actually do a mascara, but I just use the Benefit They're Real. Yeah, Benefit They're Real. This is probably the best mascara in my opinion. Okay, I haven't gone too crazy with the, with the mascara because I'm going to Asda and honestly, Asda is not going to know what's hit them. Like I'm going to be turning up in a full face of glam makeup at this rate. So... I need to, you know, calm it down a bit. So next with Refi, I'm going to use their glossy highlighter. I used this one time, right, when I got past because I just couldn't wait because I'm impatient. It is insane. Like, I use too much of it. But so I know for now that I'm going to use a small bit because a small bit goes a long way. Um, It just makes, like, where you put it, it makes it look almost like wet, like when it catches the light. It is so, so good. So let me show you. This is in the shade Topaz, by the way. I don't know if they do other shades. This is just the one I saw. You can see already, can't you? Like, oh. I've never had a highlighter like this where, like, it's like... I think I've only ever used powder highlighters. But it just makes it look, like, wet. Can you see that? <laughs> a bit on my nose. Not too much on my nose, though, because that's a mistake I made last time. A little bit to catch the light and then catch those lights in Asda. A bit here. And then I need to do the other side. Oh, that's a bit too much. Yeah, honestly, a little bit goes a long way with this product. If I was actually going somewhere like that I needed makeup on, I'd also probably put a little bit around my eyebrows. But I do not need a face, a glam face. But you can see when it catches the light, it's so, so good. Okay, and the last refined product I'm going to use is their Lip Sculpt. So this is a really good product. So it's got the lip liner there. there. This is the shade Rosewood, by the way. And then... Oh no, you do need to take that off. You then undo this bit. And it's like, it's like a gloss, but it basically like sets it into place. So you tap your, you go put your hand over your lips and literally there's nothing, like you can't smudge, nothing comes off. So I, what I've learned is I put this on and then I put a tiny bit of Made by Mitchell in the middle. And it's just the best combo, let me show you. I'm so bad at lining my lips, like, I can't overline them. Like, I don't know how people do that and it doesn't look stupid. That's the colour you can see. It's a really, really nice colour. Okay, and then I'll show you. So, oh, why is that not going on? 
I put a little bit of Made by Mitchell in the middle. This is in the shade Strawberry Cream. And it's just so nice. My lips are so dry at the moment though, so they don't look their best. Gotta really blend it in. Okay, so that's the lips and then I'll show you. So then you put, it's really weird like the texture of it, you'll kind of see like it's not, it's not like a gloss, like it's really, really weird. I don't actually know how it works. I don't get it. Okay, let that dry for a second. I'm trying to do it with a finger that's not already got makeup product on so you can actually see that I'm not lying. Okay, let's test this, right. Can you see? There is literally no product. I don't know if it's, it's not really a great way to see, but there's no product that's come off. Like, it just doesn't smudge at all, it's so good. And then, oh, my setting spray's in the other room, so let me set this and then I'll show you what it looks like in the natural light. All right, it is a very dark and gloomy day today but you can see a lot better in natural light. Like this is what it would actually look like when I go out now. And it is really nice. You can see what I mean about how it looks. It, the highlights makes it look wet. You know what I mean? That's why like, I don't want to put too much of it on. Um, I made that mistake last time, but yeah, it's so, so nice. I feel like it just feels so fresh and dewy, which is so good because when I suck my face, like I said, I felt my face felt really dry. And now I feel like it looks a lot healthier. So I love makeup that makes your makeup, that makes your face look healthier. Do you know what I mean? Like rather than like, really like full on and cakey and this makeup definitely doesn't do that um yeah I definitely recommend trying refi products I don't know if they still have their 20% off I'm not sure that they do but honestly it's so worth the money for the products especially like I would say the cream bronzer for me is my favorite followed by the lip sculpt but honestly I just love all of it the blush like absolutely all of it I definitely want to get some more bits for Christmas but yeah thank you so much for watching this video I'm so sorry about my voice I'm sure it was very annoying um the sad part is I'm gonna have to go and film loads more videos now so there's gonna be a little stage on my YouTube where I've just got a really croaky voice but we move we move we go through it do you know what I mean like it's not the end of the world but yeah thank you so much for watching and hopefully I see you in my next video bye